Hey, James G here. On this episode of Persona Studio One series, I'm going to show you how to create and add an instrument track. Now, uh, from the audio track video that I had, if you had seen that one, we had talked the difference of an audio track and an instrument track. And if you're really new to recording, it's kind of confusing because you're like, well, my keyboards and my guitar are instruments. But what it's referring to is virtual instruments or MIDI instruments, which means they're completely software based. So where would I find those in my software? Well, you can go down here. To the bottom, you can hit F5 or you can hit this button here for browse, and it's going to be under your instruments tab right here. Now, if you have the full version or if you have the Persona Sphere, you're going to have a lot of uh, instruments that are here. I believe even the artist version has a few of these. Um, so I will show you. This is Presence. This has got a lot of really cool basic uh, I say a basic, but there's a lot of uh, virtual instruments that they have here. So there's two, really, there's two different ways to do this. Uh, the first way is kind of, you know, a traditional uh, way of, of, of doing everything, and I'll show you that way. So you're going to go up here to the plus sign. Boom, you hit that, and we're going to instrument track. Okay, so once you get to this, uh, if you want to change the color, what are the tracks going to be, you can do that. You can name it whatever you want. We'll do keys there, and then input. So what the input I would put as... Uh, if you had a MIDI controller or a keyboard or something hooked up that you're going to be using as your MIDI controller, that would be in this drop-down box right here. Uh, you can also set up one from there if you need to, but that's where you would put that. I don't have one, and so we're just going to hit default because you can also just do it straight from the software. So I'm going to hit OK, and here is my instrument. So much like your audio track, you have you can change the color here. You can mute you can solo, and then if you noticed, it came up already armed and ready to go to record. Now, obviously, this doesn't mean that it's recording yet. It is just armed and ready to record. Um, down here is where you could actually um, add whatever you're, uh, you're using over from here. So I'm going to hit this guy over here with my presence, and let's just take, we'll go to keyboards. We're going to pull up a a Wolitzer. It's one of my favorites. So we're just going to pull up a, a full Wolitzer. I'm going to take it and drag it over to here. And it's going to pop up this software now that I'm getting that. So if your controller is set up, then it would be playing these notes. Now you can always go in here to this drop box at the top and you can change whatever it is from there. So that is one way of adding it. So you go up to here and then you add your instrument track and then you pull the instrument over. However, with Studio One Six, you don't even have to do that anymore. You can literally go over here and go, all right, I need a Wolitzer full. I'm going to put boom, and it, it just does everything. You can see it's down here twice now. Um, they are so great about uh, doing drag and drop and just making everything very, very, very streamlined. Works for uh, anything. So let's take uh, – I actually have uh, – Killer um, drum software, Easy Drummer 3, is the one that I use. Uh, there's a lot of great ones out there. Superior Drummer, uh, incredible drumming software. And uh, let me show you something here. I can just hide these guys, get rid of them. So I'm back to my instruments here. I'm going under the Easy Drummer 3. I'm going to pull that up. And the same thing here. I just dragged it over. It set up everything for me. My drums are ready to go. If I add a groove in here and I push and pull it. It's really ridiculously easy to, to add those. Um, and it's really kind of funny because sometimes I will, uh, I will find myself uh, going through this whole process to add an instrument when I know I could just go over there and drag it. So it's just because I did it for so long for so many years. But if you're new to it, then just remember, you can go over there and just drag it over there and you can instantly set up an instrument track.